Welcome to Living Word Worship Center and to the wedding of Eric Wilson and Deborah Cook. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build it. We are assembled today in the presence of God to unite this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is instituted of God, regulated by His commandment, blessed of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to be held in honor among all men. Into this relationship, these two persons desire now to enter. They desire to take each the other as husband and wife in every situation and to perform all the duties belonging to such relation to the end of life. I charge you both today as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make be kept faithfully, and if you endeavor to do the will of God, your life will be full of joy, and the home you're establishing will abide in peace. Eric Jesse Wilson, do you take Deborah Dawn Cook to be your wedded wife, to cherish her and live with her according to God's will? Do you pledge your loyalty to her and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep her in every situation? and keep yourself unto her only for the lifetime of your marriage. If this is so, please answer, I do. I do. Deborah Dawn Cook, do you take Eric Jesse Wilson to be your wedded husband, to cherish him and live with him according to God's will? Do you pledge your loyalty to him and promise to love, honor, comfort and keep him in every situation and keep yourself unto him only for the lifetime of your marriage. If this is so, please answer, I do. I do. Okay. Eric, please repeat after me. I, Eric Wilson. I, Eric Wilson. Take you, Deborah Cook. Take you, Deborah Cook. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold, to have to hold, from this time forth, from this time forth, in every situation, in every situation, to love and cherish, to love and cherish, for the rest of our lives, for the rest of our lives, for the rest of our lives, and to this, and to this, I do pledge, I do pledge, my faith. I, Deborah Cook. I, Deborah Cook. Take Eric Wilson. Take Eric Wilson. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this time forth. From this time forth. In every situation. In every situation. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. And to this. And to this. I do pledge. I do pledge. My faith. My faith. Now you've also chosen to seal your vows by the giving and receiving of these wedding rings, which I hold in my hand. I now bless these rings as symbols of the vows by which you have bound yourselves to each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. These rings symbolize the continuous, never-ending love and commitment that you have for each other. So Eric, I'm gonna ask you to please place this ring on Deborah's finger and once again repeat after me. I give you this ring, I give you this ring. As, a symbol as a symbol of my vow. Of my vow. In the name of the Father, In the name of the Father. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Deborah, please place this ring on Eric's finger and also repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my vow. Of my vow. 
In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one, so are you in your marriage. Marriage is not merely a partnership, but rather a merger. No longer two, but one. Through this ceremony of marriage, you not only join yourselves to one another, but also to Christ. He is your ever-present help and companion. And through Him, the two of you together have faith and power to resist the storms of life and whatever things that would come against your marriage. And as you are with today, I want you to reflect on all that He has done for you. And always remember the Lord's presence on this special day. And so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in holy matrimony, you have promised, to, you have promised your love for each other by these vows and the giving of these rings, by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel. I declare that Eric and Deborah are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state, whom therefore God has joined together, not let, let not man put asunder. So you may now kiss your bride. Hey. <laughs> and so, for the first time, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Deborah Wilson, and congratulations to the both of you. Amen, and God bless you.